Antonio Guterres appearing with other candidates in an Al Jazeera debate this summer during his race to become the next Secretary General. Many wanted a woman for the job, some said it was Eastern Europe's turn. But in the end, it was decided the former Prime Minister from Portugal was the man to give the UN back its vigour and relevance. We badly need at this moment two things, leadership and values. The values that our societies that are all becoming multi-ethnic, multi-religious and multicultural need in order to foster inclusion, cohesion, to make people feel they belong, to value diversity and to confront and defeat political populism, xenophobia, racism and violent extremism. And I believe those values are the values I've served in all my life. The problem for Mr Guterres is that since he was elected to be the ninth Secretary General, the challenges he will face have increased greatly. The outgoing Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has long argued there needs to be peace talks on Syria. In his last interview with Al Jazeera, he stated the position he's held for nearly six years. There is no military solution. I have made, been making quite clearly all the times only inclusive First, Syrian-led uh, intra-Syrian dialogue. However, as he spoke, and in the subsequent days, a military solution has played out. The fall of Aleppo, the biggest victory for Assad in this long war. Syria has shown the weaknesses of the UN, its constant demands for ceasefires and humanitarian access ignored, the divisions and deadlock in the Security Council exposed for all to see. Mr. Guterres was elected unanimously by that council, but less than a month later, another election that brings real uncertainty to international relations. President-elect Donald Trump has said he believes the UN is inefficient, and he's questioned recent developments that the organization believes are rare achievements on the world stage. The improved US relations with Cuba, the Iran nuclear deal, and the Paris climate change agreement. An experienced statesman with the cunning and resilience that comes from decades spent in politics and diplomacy. Mr Guterres is the ultimate safe pair of hands, but he faces a situation where the relationship between the superpowers is in flux, much of the Middle East is a conflict zone, and there are more people displaced from their homes than at any time since the end of World War II when the UN was created. There are amazing challenges. Even a safe pair of hands may not be good enough. There is no doubt that Antonio Guterres, a man of great experience, is facing the toughest job in his long career. James Bayes, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations.